Hello guys and welcome to part 2 of squad wipes guide where I'll be sharing my thought process and tactics during my solo vs squad fights and how I managed to win. I'm sorry I'm a little bit sick today so sorry in advance if my voice isn't clear but I'll do my best. So grab a coffee or tea or juice whatever your favorite drink is. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Let's get started. I'll start the first clip with an awareness tip that many players ignore. So in here I was going for the airdrop over there and as I got closer this message pops up. You need to use that to your advantage because it helps you locate good squads or good players. So in this case I noticed that the player belongs to this clan which is by the way one of the best clans in my server. Now I know that they are near me and I know that I need to play smart and carefully. First thing I noticed is two airborns in the same area which means there are two squads here and I had to take this chance to kill them since they are busy fighting each other. But unfortunately the other squad couldn't have them and they left the area using the airborne so it was only me versus them. This has to be one of my favorite spots to position in launch base as I get a bit of high ground plus plenty of space to move and two covers to protect me. After the first knock I had to change my position as I lost track of the first two players. I decided to move to my other favorite spot in the middle of launch base which again will give me high ground and good vision over the enemies. Next I'm gonna show you the importance of throwables and to be exact the nova gas and the grenades. The enemy deploys the airborne again but this time I had a chance to use nova gas. Not only it prevents him from using it but also nova gas can destroy airborne within 8 seconds and on top of that it blocked his vision from the right side. After that I used the grenade to finish him off without risking my life and when you use grenades at close range timing is important. If you throw it early it will bounce away and if you throw it late it will explode in midair before reaching your target. The perfect time at close range would be somewhere between 2 to 3 seconds depending on the distance. Second fight was with a full squad plus a tank in the final circle. I just finished wiping a squad but another one shows up and they had two tanks with them. There was no way I can fight them here especially that I ran out of nova gas and if you find yourself in rough situation like this your best option is to skip the fight and move on to the next safe zone then find a perfect position to engage from.
After scanning the area, I decided that the best position would be behind this big rock as it provides perfect cover against the tank shots and at the same time, I guarantee that no one shoots from the back as the zone was right behind me. This is the moment where I realized I'm up against a full squad and remember the steps from last video. Number one, do not panic. Number two, try to split the enemy team apart and step three, take them out one by one. The tactic that I used to split them apart was bearing and it's a tactic that I mentioned in the first video I posted in season nine. So basically, pretend you're a bot or a noob by shooting bullets in the air. After they fall for the bait, wait for the right moment to attack. Make sure they're in the open and close enough. It's extremely important to knock the first player down, otherwise you can be in trouble. I thought those shots were enough to finish him off, but his teammates got to him on time and they managed to revive him back, but as they were busy reviving, I managed to take down their teammate and that was very, very crucial. Here's another trick I usually use when I'm being chased like that. So I was running away and I jumped to the front side but as soon as I landed I changed direction and went to the opposite side and that tricked the enemy and gave me an easy kill. Two down and two to go. It's also important to keep an eye on the map and check the safe zone movement. At this point I had 30 seconds left for the next zone and I really had to get inside and since they had the zone on their side plus the tank it would be extremely risky for me to just run to the zone so I decided to hijack the tank and with the help of Ninja Berg, the silent footsteps and the hook I managed to hijack it successfully and on top of that I surprised the third enemy with machine gun kill. Now it's just between me and the tank driver. This guy was smarter than many other tank drivers, so I had to be extra careful here and avoid throwing the game. If you notice here, he was trying to place me outside the zone to damage me, but he didn't realize that the zone was moving and he ended up damaging himself. And being in the passenger seat, I could heal up anytime while he could it. Here I tricked him and I managed to take over the tank and this is what you do when you're stuck with enemies inside your tank. Just drive at full speed outside the zone and jump out just before you reach it. Honestly I didn't expect him to survive that but he did, however he's extremely low in HP and he needs to heal up and when he decided to heal up I went out and shot the tank but I wasn't fast enough The enemies could have won that easily if they stayed together inside the zone and waited for me but as I mentioned they were greedy and that costed them the game We arrived to the final fight and unlike the first two fights, this was at the start of the game. As I was in black market, I heard shots coming from sanitarium so I decided to go towards them. Remember this part from last tips video? Well, 
you're gonna see it again in action just to show you why I love this spot. Even though these guys saw me landing, they couldn't really do much thanks to the high ground I had. Another thing worth mentioning is the power of the AK-117 in the start of the game. Since it doesn't have a scope, it allows me to aim faster than my enemies since they're using AK-47 which has slower ADS. I was gonna push the other guy but then I realized I had Nova gas and that pretty much won me the fight and you will see why. First of all, even if I knocked the second player, I would have had to deal with his teammate who came from an airport and I would have been dead for sure, not to mention the possibility of them having Defender class or Trap Master. This is why Nova Gas was the reason I won. First of all, it finished off the player I knocked, preventing them from reviving him. Second of all, this player panics and decides to jump down, which split their team apart. And finally, I managed to knock a second player as he didn't have enough time to heal, probably because he was already low on HP. I decided to chase the player that jumped, knowing that he lost some health. Again, I was right about them having Defender class. Luckily, this player had low mag from the fight on the roof and he had to reload which gave me a chance to kill him. I'm not sure if the last player made the right decision or not. He had two options. Number one, revive his teammate, the one I knocked with Nova Gun. And second option was to rush me since I'm most likely low on HP after fighting with his teammate. Honestly, both were great options but unfortunately for him, I killed his teammate just in time to switch focus on him and looking at how fast I killed him, I guess he was low on HP. That was it for today's video and as always, I really hope you guys found this useful and if you do, consider leaving a like. I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch. See you in the next video. Peace. about you.